everyone, I'm Red Herring and today I'm doing kind of an unboxing of a birthday gift that I received from my buddy Jennifer Lewis. Uh, you can find her at hashtag MyMenstrualChalice. She's also a fellow vlogger, so you can check out her YouTube channel here. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe to her. She also talks about menstrual cups. Um, and so a couple weeks ago she let me know that she got me something but I didn't know what it was and that it was far, far away. So it kind of racked my brain um, until I received, I, I received it yesterday and I was so excited that I went ahead and ripped open the box and um, looked at the cup and, you know, read the directions or instructions and um, whatnot. So I was like, wait a minute, I didn't have this on camera. So um, I packaged it all back up exactly how I received it so that I can do it again for you on screen. As always, if you find something interesting or helpful in this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So here is the box that I received. It's quite small. You can see it uh, compared to the size of my hand. And Jennifer said that she ordered this on menstrualcup.co. Uh, and I have to tell you right now that it is a hub. So um, this website has uh, several cups that you normally wouldn't be able to purchase in the United States if you're in the United States like I am. Um, and you can order it from this site and they put in the order to the actual company and then those companies send you the cup even though they normally don't send it to the United States um, directly from their website. So here is the inside of the box and if you are following me on any of my social media you probably already saw pictures of it. But this is the Lolly Cup and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it is from Slovenia, and uh, that is far, far away, so it's so awesome to be able to um, receive this cup and kind of do a showing of it and of course I didn't use it yet so I'll be able to do a review on it for those of us that are in the United States. So here is the pouch that this cup comes with. It doesn't come packaged inside of the box with the cup but you do get a pouch with it and this is a little bit different. It's not a drawstring as you can see. It does have a zipper on it and it's quite big for a cup bag. So this is probably about five by three or four. If I hold it up you can see that it has these like cross, uh, cr crisscrossed or squares in it and it's really breathable. I can kind of see through it. You probably can't right now because of my lights but I can see through it um, in person. So I know that my cup is going to have a good ventilation when it's being stored in it. They also included this little uh, pamphlet or booklet of soft tampons and there is a uh, Facebook page for this company and there's their website right there, soft tampons, if you're interested in that. And when I open it up, it is a little um, calendar to track your periods. So it looks like, according to the receipt that was included in my package, that Jennifer ordered this on July 8th, and I received it on July 18th. So it only took 10 days to get here from Slovenia. There was one more item in the box, um, and that is, or besides the cup, is the instructions for use. And it is a front and back um, paper and this is in English. So the box itself for the menstrual cup and the pamphlet that's inside of it is all in Slovenian so I wouldn't be able to read it unless I went on to Google Translate and did uh, small sections of the cup at a time. I know you only have a certain limit that you can include in a Google search so um, I'm really happy that they included these uh, English directions or instructions for me. So now on to the actual cup box. I'm going to do a quick turnaround of the box and if you read Slovenian, awesome for you, uh, but 
I'll just go ahead and turn it and show the pictures for those of the us that don't speak the language or read the language. But here you can see the different sizes that they offer, small, medium, and large. And I do have a medium with me today. But if you notice right here on the volume of their large, it's said to hold 41.3 milliliters. And that's a good capacity cup right up there with um, the Love Your Body and Super Jenny cup. There's their website, but I will be including that on, in the description below if you're curious or um, want more information on this cup. So here's some pictures that we can all understand how to fold it, where to insert it, to use it up for 12 hours, um, washing it, boiling it, and whatnot. And finally, here is the lolly cup. So I'm going to pause this and uh, reposition my camera a little closer so that I can show you the details and features of this cup just a little bit better. So now we're up close and personal and you can see the cup a little bit better. Um, according to the website and also the English instruction pamphlet, it does say that this cup is medical grade silicone. Um, and as I showed you on the box, it does come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large, and I do have a medium with me. Um, and it also comes in three different colors. This clear color, um, a dark, pretty blue, and a red. Uh, I'm pretty sure that on the website menstrualcup.co, it only uh, offers this clear, so you might have to contact the company themselves if you want the colors. And um, it's such a really, really nice silicone and nice and clear, although you can't really tell because it has these uh, ridges on it. It is such a clear cup, and I'm going to insert my uh, finger here and you can see it really clearly when I push it up against the uh, inside of the cup. So I'm going to start with the stem first and this is a solid piece of silicone, a stick style stem um, and it's soft and pliable. It moves in all directions without any resistance. It does squish if you can see that squishes down. There are three grip rings on here, but when I actually stretch the, the stem out, they kind of disappear into the silicone, so I don't actually grip onto those. I grip onto this end piece here, which they actually flattened, and I do like that because some of the um, ball stems that I have, the piece of silicone is so soft that my fingers still just kind of go right over it. They didn't include a whole bunch of seal between the stem and the bowl of the cup if you do need to cut your stem off. So make sure that you leave a small piece of that stem intact uh, if you do need to trim it. So here is my nail and you can see it goes to the very top of the bowl of the cup. And if I stretch this up you can see the color change between where the bowl of the cup ends and the stem um, begins. So just make sure you don't cut too deep into that or you're going to cause your cup to be useless. The stem itself has a really good stretchiness to it. It has a resistance right about there and um, that's really nice because you don't want your stem to continue to travel outside of your body when your cup is still sealed um, inside of your body. Right underneath the stem there are three grip rings and they are in a flower pattern. Uh, these grip rings are raised pretty well off of the cup and they give a good sound. Uh, but you'll be happy to know that they are rounded for those of you that have sensitivities to any of those hard edges. Traveling up the cup, they do have a secondary rim. It's not really high, but it gives a, an extra area of firmness to help this cup pop open. Um, it does get thicker in that area as well. Even though this is a bell-shaped cup, it doesn't have that flared rim like a lot of the other bell-shaped cups do. It has a thicker, um, kind of a gummy rim to it, very similar to the Super Jenny if you're familiar with that one. Right underneath that top rim there are four uh, air holes and you can see all four of them here. 
two back here and two in the front. They are evenly spaced all the way around and they are quite large holes. You can see through that front one right through and to the back one and right through that as well. They're finished off really nicely and uh, having those large holes probably help get this cup to open a little easier and also to uh, break the seal when you're removing the cup as well. There are minimal markings on this cup and you probably already saw them, but I'll go ahead and point them out anyway. So here is their um, logo, which is Lolly Cup. And they have measuring lines here, which is five milliliters and 15 milliliters. 15 milliliters equal a half an ounce. So you have quite a bit of room to uh, go before you hit the top rim or the air holes. Um, on the back side of this, well, it's a circle, so there wouldn't really be a back side, but um, on the other side of this uh, cup, it does say made in EU. And um, it doesn't seem like these are rounded off looking at it, uh, but these are really, really low rise. I could barely feel them with my fingertips, um, so that will probably make it really easy to clean. Um, you don't have to worry so much about having, uh, having to rub those away. And I hope, um, because these are really low rise, that it wouldn't uh, give you sensitivity issues for those that are sensitive. The inside is completely clear. There's nothing that is um, printed or branded on the inside, so cleaning the inside will be nice and easy as well. So uh, lastly, I bet you were wondering when I was going to talk about the pattern that's all around the cup. So this is a different and unique design. I've never seen a cup that was uh, shaped quite like this. The bell would probably be the closest in um, this particular design, but it only has, I think, four um, areas that have a little uh, dip in it. So anyhow, this one reminded me kind of like a lemon juicer where you put the lemon on it and then you turn the lemon to extract all the juice and the seeds uh, to make lemonade. And that's kind of what this shape reminded me of. So first of all, this shape does not transfer to the inside. The inside is all smooth. So this design or this pattern is only on the outside of this cup. So the concept behind this design is having these um, valleys or the dipped areas make it so that this cup actually folds easier and smaller. So it's kind of like when you fold a piece of paper and then you push down on that edge and crease it, it folds easier than if you're just to push a piece of paper together and not uh, fold or crease down that edge. Um, so that's kind of the concept of these bumps and uh, dips. And then what I what I feel like is after it is folded, that the bumps uh, actually want to make the cup spring back open. I don't know if that was their intention, but that's what it feels like underneath my fingertips. So there was my unboxing and my first thoughts about this Lolly Cup from Slovenia. I am so happy to actually have my period this week so that I can give this a try. Uh, I will include it in my What I Wore This Month video, which should be out soon. I didn't do it yet because I'm still bleeding. Um, so if you're interested in hearing about my first um, experience with this while using it, stay tuned for that or check for that in a week or two. Um, thank you again so much, Jennifer. I really am so pleased with this cup. It seems like a really good quality and a really cool design. I'm excited and I, I, I can't wait to, to give it a try. So that's all I have for you today. I'm going to go wash this cup and insert it. So until I see you next time, take care.